How's it going? Welcome back. Now, as you know that we were trying to make this hole a little bit wider, which led me to go and buy this. This is the Arvik LW510. It's got 8 ton bucket capacity, and it's about 50 tons worth of weight to it. I thought this would be awesome. It was really expensive. It was nearly 700,000. It is the biggest front end loader that there is currently in the game. So I use this to try and tickle away at widening the hole. However, as you see, I don't have it anymore. I got rid of it. The front end loaders for me, they just need a little bit more oomph at the minute. And I felt that I was struggling more to get the bucket to dig into the dirt. And there's a lot of shunting backwards and forwards to tip into the hopper and for it to go through the system. So I was having a look around on the Discord and I saw a way of doing things that I was unsure about for a start. I think I have already done it. So I was just like, you know what, let's do it. So what I did was I moved the box from in here and I, I kind of took it and put it here. And then what I did is I built a little platform with the excavator on and I dug. So it was flattening it down. And that's what's happening up here. So we're kind of moving a little bit of a way up here. So as you notice, I've kind of rerouted a few things. I have bought no more conveyor belts. This is just all existing stuff that I've just changed directions of. So I've took that bend that was down down there near that back wall, and stuck it in here, which has meant I can put the hopper there, which is enabling me to get around here and level all of this off. It is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm realizing this game and my brain don't really go hand in hand because originally I thought, you know what, I could just use a dozer and just flatten it all out and push it. That kind of didn't really work as well. Then, like I say, went for the front end loader and I thought, ah, front end loader would be easy. We just turn it, dig it into the side, scoop it up, run it over, dump it in and all would be well. But I just, the bite on the front end loaders, just, I can't get it right. For me personally, I can't get it right. And then, like I say, it's, it's slow moving, real slow moving. And current dirt lock is throwing it everywhere. I was going all these bumps and stuff. And I was ending up not really getting a lot to the hopper and spilling more. And you guys know that I love these excavators anyway or you should do by now because I go on about it enough. It just feels more, I don't know, more worthwhile, more complete. I personally enjoy these so much more. It's something to do with all that movement that you get going on with it. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But I just love the feel of the excavator. I just, it just works for me. It kind of, so many millions of different controls and you can pretty much get it to do almost what you want it to do how you want it to do it. I really do like the excavators, so I ended up going back to it. And yeah, just digging away really. We haven't got very far, so I'll keep this short and sweet, I guess. I do hope to get this hole dug and hopefully find some resources, because if you look, this coal vein that we thought was chasing through this way, it kind of disappears. Uh, it should be here on top, but it, it kind of ends. So now I'm really confused of where it does go because it also goes back this way. So we might end up coming back to this corner. We might end up just widening this mine off completely and just binning it off as a kind of lost cause. I will have to look into that and decide what we do. But ultimately, where do we go next? Because, I mean, it's all white uh, i might have to get a drill out and start sticking the drill in places and trying to find some more stuff but where do you begin in all fairness like where do you begin in this there's nothing on the ground that makes me go "Ooh, maybe that's an ore maybe this maybe i don't know it's slightly different shaded but it could just be the rock so far i've not seen it to mean anything so we could be swinging a miss with this one but it's an interesting one because you kind of don't know where anything is. So it's all fun at the fair. I have noticed as well with the dynamite and the explosives and stuff, because the dirt now drops down better than it kind of explodes out. So for example, if I was to put dynamite on the floor, it doesn't exactly blow up mound as much as it blows down. It might be easier to start a tunnel system and then blow the roof down into a hopper or something like that. We'll see. We'll see what we do. But I just thought we'd let you guys know where we're at so that we're not missing this week. Short and sweet to keep it short and sweet. Keep you guys on side. And I hope to see you again next time. Take it easy. Bye for now. See you guys.